game trolls you for using an infinite money cheat. What racing game involves decapitation as a celebration? Here are 10 of the most bizarre cheats and easter eggs in Vigil Games. I'm Danger Dolan and today I will be your narrator. Number 10. The End is one of the greatest snipers in history. He's been sniping for a very long time in Metal Gear Solid 3. When you run into him, he's over 100 years old. That's why if you start the battle with the end, you can save the game. Advance your system clock by about a month or so. Come back. When you restart, Snake will find the end dead of old age. That's a win by default, but Snake won't feel good about it. And you're a filthy cheater if you do this. You should do the fight legit because it's a very good fight. Number 9. Age of Empires is a real-time strategy game about ancient civilizations battling it out with one another using only wood, stone, and steel. That is, until you type Big Daddy in a console command. Then you get a completely immersion-breaking 1995 Chevy Camaro, outfitted with a massive rocket launcher. Its speed is by far the fastest of any unit in the game. It kills nearly everything in one massive explosion. It's not exactly a cheat for those looking for a true simulation. Number 8. Level select is a pretty standard cheat. In fact, most games don't even consider it a cheat at all. It's just a regular feature. But the Lion King for Sega Genesis has a level select mode that is basically just a huge troll. So you use it to go to whatever level you like, so it works exactly the way it's supposed to, except for one thing. No matter what level you pick, when you finish it, you will go to level two. There are 10 levels in the game. If you cheat to go to level eight first and complete it, your next challenge will be level two, not level nine. So the game's like, ha 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 ha, nice cheat, nice cheat, fuck you. That's what it's doing. Number seven. The SimCity games have always been a nice way to give you an infinite money cheat without completely busting the game. There's always a balance, usually in the form of some kind of trolling. In the original SimCity, holding shift and typing fund gives you a bunch of free money, which is great, unless you do it eight times. Then your city gets hit by an earthquake. In SimCity 2000, you're safe from tornadoes, but not interest rates. The game charges you 25% interest on money you cheated for. SimCity 3000 has a code where you build things for free, but you still have to pay maintenance. So a bit less of a dick move, except that the code makes you type, I am weak. Number six. Some assassins have cooler hawks as pets or use carrier pigeons. Connor Kenway, he can recruit a turkey in the order of assassins. After sequence 6 of Assassin's Creed 3, whistling in a specific location near the Davenport homestead will call a chicken your way. That turkey is patiently waiting for you to input the Konami code. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. Or circle X on PS3. Do that and the turkey becomes an assassin with a hood and everything. Sweet. Number 5. It isn't at all strange to see a game allow access to a debug menu. In fact, that's downright commonplace. What sets Aladdin apart is that you correctly input the code for the debug menu. You met with the face of the game's designer, David Perry, and the words, Ah! Oh, David Perry! What is your wish? A similar debug screen can be seen in Cool Spot and Earthworm Jim, which are both also David Perry games. Number 4. Super Monaco GP isn't one of the most memorable games ever. It's not a great Genesis port from its arcade version, but the Genesis version of the game has something that makes it stand out from its arcade origin. You hold A, B, and C while crossing the finish line, and instead of lifting a trophy, the driver will triumphantly lift his own severed head. Grats on the win. Number three. Earthworm Jim and Donkey Kong Country aren't really terribly similar games, but they came out around the same time. Donkey Kong Country got far more attention. This began a shade-throwing war between Shiny and Rare, in which Shiny added a cheat code to Earthworm Jim, where Jim's head is replaced by a stretched version of Donkey Kong's head with an arrow through it. In DKC2, Rare tossed some shade back. When Cranky Kong ranks the top video game heroes, he includes Diddy Kong, Mario, Yoshi, and Link. In the corner of the screen is a trash can with Sonic's shoes and Jim's gun beside it, and a sign that says, No Hopers. Number two. Tofu is kind of like a secret character of Resident Evil 2, except that he's uh, just a big white block. He's really just a placeholder Capcom used to test Collision when working on the game. The developers seem to like him well enough to make him a character and give him his own minigame, parody of Hunk's The Fourth Survivor Scenario. Coincidentally, same kind of story with Kirby, you know, just a pink blob attached to it. It's a character now. Anyway, Tofu has only a knife and a few herbs to help him, and he changes color to red or purple as he gets damaged or poisoned. The Tofu Survivor can only be unlocked by clearing Leon and Claire's storylines three times with an A ranking and unlocking the fourth Survivor. Number one. Of all the cheats on this list, this is likely the one you've seen before, if not several times, but this deserves to be number one. While it may seem kind of silly today, Big Head Mode was a big deal at one point. 
open the door for cheats and glitches that affect the appearance of the game. Just a silly visual effect, but it is sort of the grandfather of visual cheat codes, so it's worth paying homage to. So guys, what's your favorite video game cheat of all time? Let us know in the comment section down below, pin our favorite to the top. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support, guys. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one!